What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with the Lord, Scott Disick. I mean, you'll notice I only have one car, one watch, I'm a very down to earth guy. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then I'll hope he's gonna buy some sneakers. Or hopefully somebody's gonna give them to me. But yes. Let's go. Scott, I want to talk about recent years. You know, in the past you were into loafers and things That's like that, true, yeah. but your style has switched in the past few years. Thank God, my feet were starting to hurt. You know, you adopted Jordan 1s I actually on. had a ton of old Jordans from when I was growing up, like Jordan 1s, like originals. Okay. But they were retired for a very long time when I dressed very formal. Mm -hmm. So once I got back into wearing Jordans again, I actually had a ton what we like to call in the street, dead stock. Okay, right, So hey, you know. It was very nice that I had a bunch of pairs that I could lick from bottom to top, <laughs> brand new, like out of the box. So you weren't going so, around buying all no, of them, you I had didn't them on have deck. To. So I had them, which was amazing. I had all the black and reds, I had all the blue and black, mm -hmm. but all originals. And a lot of just very simple, like plain, Two, three, four. I mean, I had all of them really growing up. I want to talk about your love of streetwear and making noise in menswear. John Elliott, <laughs> Stamped, Kith. I love all that stuff, but I do like simplicity, things that are kind of plain. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'll notice I only have one car, one watch, I'm a very down to earth guy. But no, yeah. I do really like very simple stuff, like white shoes. I am wearing a tracksuit and I'm not 20, but whatever. What do you, how do you feel about that? Sometimes, you know, even the commenters go in on me that I dress too young. You know, I think you could dress however you want to, but mm -hmm. I've had people tell me that you dress too young or things like that, but I wore a flannel the other day and somebody I was with was like, wow, you look really old. And I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> God forbid if I wore a suit. Scott, you wore a lot of Ultra Boost this year. Yeah, I think I wore, yeah, white whites a ton. I, oh, yeah. I would say this is probably one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. Not that I work out or anything, but if I did, I imagine it'd be a great workout shoe. Yeah. But very comfortable. And what do you th like about pairing kind of like a technical shoe with jeans and how that all works together? Yeah, I mean, it's cool because it makes it a little less casual and stuff like that. I don't really wear them as much as I did. Maybe because everybody is wearing them, right. but maybe what a sneaker you, maybe though. Maybe you set the trend. It's a very good chance. <laughs> no, I mean, I think the trend was when Ye met, like made the new Yeezy. Yeah. For people that couldn't afford that, mm -hmm. they'd probably buy this. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of like transformed like the two, I don't know. What do you think about how Adidas is doing? You know, Nike was always the juggernaut, but now Adidas is kind of challenging them a little bit. Yeah, I mean, basically because of Kanye. There's I mean, some people who don't think that's the case, which is crazy. Yeah, they'd be wrong. Matt Powell. Not sure just, who that is. This but you're one wrong. analyst who doesn't give Kanye any credit. Yeah, he's wrong. Scott, we see you in a lot of Yeezys. Obviously, you have a close connection. Which ones of the recent ones are your favorite? Honestly, I wear the boots a lot, but that's usually if I'm going skiing. Okay. Because they're great snow boots. Yeah. I don't really wear that much anymore. I mean, I usually just wear the Calabasas right. sneaker. Yeah. Just Talk about these, they're simple, but you wore those I a just, lot. Well, the truth was a long time ago, I used to wear Reebok Classics mm -hmm. that were similar looking. And then when Ye like made this shoe, much cooler obviously, I changed to this. And now I wear Air Force Ones, but only because it's a little thicker and I like it. But this is still a great shoe that I still wear all the time. We see Kanye's influence from afar. The kids go crazy. They're reselling $8,000 even for yeah, his Nikes. Enough. What is it like to be close and see the influence kind of up front? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's his passion. And obviously it shows correctly because people die for his shoes. I mean, it's unbelievable to live in a world that people are going to spend $8,000 right. to walk in a shoe. Yeah. I could see if one of the, somebody wants to spend eight thousand dollars to walk in my shoes for a day, okay, but that's see? a little different. Scott, there's a picture of you on your Instagram. You are at Stadium Goods. You're holding two Supreme Louis Vuitton boxes, yeah. and a lot of people thought that we actually filmed an episode of this. Oh, really? We didn't, though. Oh, that's funny. Now we did. Now we did. Yes. How big of a fan are you of this collection and Supreme in general? I mean, I always liked Supreme. I just think now that they went with like a huge brand, it kind of made them a little bit more significant to the general population that mm -hmm. wasn't really seeing it. For Supreme, it's amazing. It's also pretty cool for Louis because yeah. I feel like now everybody wants something even if it's not a collab. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a lot of companies are doing collabs nowadays. Yeah. So I guess that's like the new cool thing to do. 
And yeah, I mean, I love all this stuff. I mean, it's obviously a little over the top. Right. And you probably can only wear it about once. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it's very cool looking. Scott, you're in crispy white Air Force Ones. You've been wearing them a lot in the past couple weeks. I'll tell you truthfully, I used to wear them as a kid. Never wore them again for years. Swore I would never wear an Air Force One again. Yeah. And the past couple months, I started wearing them again. I was like, wow. Kind of like brings me back a little bit to when I was a kid. Feels comfortable again. And now I'm like, all right, I'm going to start switching into other colors. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I have these ones. Like Easters. The Easters are yeah. fun just because the colors are like crazy, but a little embarrassed for how I'm wearing them, <laughs> but I have these. Yeah, you were wearing these, these the other night. Recently. I do have these, but they're a little busy, but it kind of looks like this Louis Supreme yeah, drop a little, yeah, so people yeah, are like, yeah. oh, what do you have? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I these. have these too, but honestly, it really is easy just to stick with the white ones. Yeah, and how many pairs of like crispy whites do you have at any given time? Probably go through a few a week, maybe. Okay. I don't know. It depends, really, what yeah. kind of wear and tear you're getting into. Yeah. Bad week, oh, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> but I don't, you know, it's just a simple, easy shoe that's yeah. able to have so many different colors and variations, so you can't really ever get sick of them. But again, I still kind of always go back to the tidy whities We talked about everything. Now the easy part, get the browser shells, see what you want to buy. Okay. Do you have these in my size? None of them. Nine and a half or 10 is probably fine. These two. Some girl stepped on these in the club the other night. Do you have these? What else? And these? The American yeah, flag. American flag. You want a pair too? <laughs> these, the pippin. Yeah, come with on, the, With the leopard? Yeah, of course. Do you have the Supreme ones of these? Is there any other Supreme sh that's like not out? Can you just add this jacket as well? Sure. So your total is going to be 15307 and 18 cents. So Scott came through, bought eight pairs of sneakers. Thanks so much for taking oh, the time. Thank you. Rare nice fashion time. interview with this guy. Grab your bags, we'll go. Oh my gosh, I'll take them.